it was 2003, um, actually, so it's getting on for nearly 18 years now. Um, and it was just a routine call. Um, one of his colleagues had seen a parked up car that looked a bit suspicious. Um, it was parked badly on the road. He did a check on it and it was came back as stolen. Um, Andy started a chase and called for backup. Jed, who was nearly due to finish his shift, he was on mornings that day, uh, said he'd come and back him up. The offender leapt out the car and ran off. And as they were both dog men, they both s sort of started from different ends of the road and looking for him. Um, and the, the offender broke into a house and phoned a taxi and the taxi arrived and uh, Jed was just walking towards the taxi and the lady came out and said, he's in my house, he's not meant to be there. The offender jumped in the taxi, Jed went to get the keys out the car and he drove off with him down St Albans Road. Um, he boarded the accelerator pedal and he went down the road at 30 miles an hour for 100 yards and Jed fell off, well got thrown off and hit his head on the bollard. It's Good Friday, and you know what? You talk, getting rid of all the coppers. Let's go, let's go. I'm enraged. I'm Jesus. I'm descendant of God. It was um, quarter past nine on Good Friday, 2019, and we received a call to the control room saying that there was a suspicious male on the street um, painting children's heads in blood, drawing crosses on their foreheads. So I responded from Mansfield Police Station, um, travelled on blue lights towards the scene. But as I was coming down Sherwood Street, um, the control room updated me and said that they believed it was the same male um, who had kidnapped a female and stolen her car, and that he'd just stolen another car and he'd run somebody over. So they just gave me the details of the vehicle, um, which was a Seat Leon. And I remember looking for that vehicle coming towards me as I was coming down Mansfield Woodhouse High Street and I thought if I saw the car come in then I would turn my car into it to stop it, stop him from hurting anybody else. Watch this now, I'm getting stronger and stronger by the second! So I continued on towards Worcester Avenue where I saw him coming off of somebody's driveway um, and I put my vehicle in front of his car to try and block him in but then he proceeded to ram my police vehicle and we were sort of nose to nose on the street really and me trying to block him and him ramming into me. I could see there were several people at the bus stop and there was an elderly gentleman lying on the floor and his, um, on the road and his legs were crushed and his walking stick was sort of out to the side. Um, I remember thinking if the male got out of the car then I would run him over but he didn't get out. I got out of my car and then he got out of his um, sort of a bit of a confrontation, him shouting threats towards me. Uh, he got back in the car and um, reversed through somebody's wall on Melbourne Street and proceeded to ram my police vehicle. I thought at least while he's doing that then he, he's not going around hurting anybody else and I was just trying to keep him there at the scene until other officers arrived. I'll get him out! Oh no! Get rid of that! Get rid of that! Do not move! Do not move! Get him out! Get him out! Get him down! You don't really think about it when you're at work, you, you just react as you were trained to, but it's sort of when you get home that it can hit you after. Um, I mean, I'm a mum, I'm a wife, as well as a police officer. Um, so yeah, it can impact you. But there are services, obviously, that help. I think when I read the scenario that Kay had gone through, she showed 
the determination that I thought that Jed would have shown by not letting this offender go at all cost. And she electively chose to put herself in the position where she could have been harmed um, and she didn't know what the end result would be. It's a huge honour and I was completely shocked when I was told that I'd won this award. Um, basically, I didn't think I'd done anything that other police officers wouldn't do. Um, my colleagues, certainly, other officers on my shift, police officers every day put their lives at risk to help people and protect the public. I'm sure if anyone else had got that call at the same time when I was there, they'd have done exactly the same as I did.